Hi, I'm Lee Keller. Hi, I'm Kim Cavanaugh. I uh, almost forgot who I was there for a second. <laughs> okay, a little clueless. I was a little clueless, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless, and we're talking about the Windows desktop right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll switch back to the screen in a minute here, and we're going to pick up right where we left off with the last one. All right, we're talking about the Start menu. Remember, the Start menu is where you go on a Windows computer when you want to start something new, when you start up a program. Um, and lots of other things in here as well. Yeah, and sometimes there are areas where if you're really feeling like you're a novice, you probably shouldn't go venturing into. <laughs> right. Uh, not like so command prompt, Lee. What are you doing? <laughs> no, not even, I don't even want to see it, Lee. I don't, I'm not uh, interested. That's the old but stuff. But we talked about the left-hand side of the start menu. Let's go over to the right-hand start side. And again, we're seeing some of these, um, again, special icons. Those indicate mm -hmm. that these are parts of the computer that do something in particular. So up at the top. Another thing I like is when I roll over one of these, it'll bring up that little box eventually. Ah, it's called a tooltip. Yeah, and it explains just exactly what I what right, would happen right. if I click so on it. So if you read all the screen, um, you'll see okay. if you're not sure what something does, if you just float your mouse over the top of it, a tooltip appears. Yeah. Now nice. this would take me to the folder with all my documents in it, videos, right. pictures, and that. But if I go down to this next one, my recent documents. Ah. It actually shows you my 10 most recent files that I've been working. Right. So, so I don't you, have to go looking. Right. So you can just go there to my recent documents, hit mm -hmm. that file, and the program that you used will open up, and the document will open mm -hmm. up. Very nice. I could go straight to my pictures, my music, if I have music on board. Right. Or I can go to a system that is in Windows XP. It's called My Computer. Right. They got rid of the possessiveness of the <laughs> computer, and, and Vista is now called Computer. Computer. Okay. <laughs> And then I see control panel and a uh, bunch of other that things. One we, that's the one we don't want people going into. Uh, not quite yet. But yeah. we'll cover the control panel and some of the maintenance things that you yeah. can do with your computer. You, you um, could spend a lot of time learning the control right. panel. That's right. And so messing things lots up. Lots of other good things here. And bottom right-hand corner, if I wanted to quit or shut down my computer, mm -hmm. first I have to start, and then I shut it down. Right? right. And when I click on shut down, it pops up with a box, and I can do several things here. Now, we're on a network, so we, we can actually log off the network, right. shut down the whole computer, restart the computer, or stand by. Or in this case, we want to cancel. We want to cancel that. Right. Now, when I go back to this restart, we were talking a little bit earlier mm -hmm. uh, about some of those things. So restarting your computer periodically is a good thing to do. It is absolutely a good thing to do. It, it, it lets the computer... So, you know, the, there's a lot of files and things that have to, to communicate with each other inside your computer. And sometimes they're missing and they look, uh, uh, but restarting resets all that. So that's almost always a I, good idea. I've had mornings. I want to be able to do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, restart the whole day. Yeah, uh, it doesn't work quite. And we no. can't go back by pressing Command Z either. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. We'll get yeah. to that one later, too. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about now again, we're human interface, human versus computer. Down at the bottom. Uh, one of the ones that I use all the time is what's called the taskbar, mm -hmm. and that's right down at the bottom of the screen. And what what typically do we see there? Well, the taskbar usually has some default settings, like over here on the left, where you see these three icons. Yeah, more icons. This is your quick launch. Okay. So in other words, these are th three things that you might use often, and they're there, so you can instantly go to them. Now, the show desktop lets you bounce back and forth between showing applications and. And showing things. the like If desktop. I show so this, your PowerPoint and there. then I click this, it goes back to show ah, the desktop. That's handy. And uh, th that's basically it. And you can add things to it. Okay. And what is that called? That's called the quick launch quick bar. Quick launch bar. And how do I how do I turn that on or or well, or access that? Up over here to a bare spot on the uh, task bar, and if okay. I right click on it, that's clicking with the right mouse button. Right. I get this dialog box, and under my toolbars. Right. Now I want to notice something too. That came up on the left. Because there was enough room on the right. Mm -hmm, now, I might not have expected that, though. So. <laughs> but, and, and look, and again, human interface, right? Mm -hmm. We see the little arrow. means there's more. And quick launch has a check mark, box, a mark next mm -hmm. to it. So obviously that means it's enabled, right? It's right. working. If we wanted to turn on other things like the iTunes uh, bar, that would come on. And I didn't see anything happen with that one. So I'm sort of happy about that, really. Me too. One that I use a lot, uh, the way I set up my computer, is the desktop. And it's going to make this bar down here. Let's see if I can stretch it out. Mm -hmm. And it's actually going to show everything that's on your desktop. Wow. Now, the neat thing about this one, too, is that you can change things. Like, you see all the text? I don't want to see the text. I turn that off, and it just shows me the pictures. Ah. There. So, again, all you're doing is you're looking at your settings. If it's got a check mark next to it. That's on. 
it's on. And if you click it, the check mark disappears and the, um, the item that you've said to go away goes away. All right, last one, Lee, um, over on the right-hand side. This is the one that gets confusing, but it's got yeah. a very important icon in there that I want to, well, actually a couple of them. Very yeah, there's some real good ones. A lot and of people like this one. it's called the geeky term cis tray. Yeah, this area. Right. Over on the far right, um, and you see, number one, uh, maybe the one that I look at most often is the clock. Yes, right? so I'd like to know what time it is. Sometimes I need that to find out what day it is. Yes, exactly, and I'll do that too. If you double-click on the mm -hmm. time, it'll actually bring up your little thing to set your clock, and you can take a quick look at your calendar. Oh, it's yeah. the 27th. Okay. Happy birthday again. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also change your time zone like if you move your computer. Very right. handy if you're mm -hmm. using a laptop. If you get a new computer sometimes, else it'll be set to California time or something mm -hmm. like that. And so you Chinese. can set it. And, oh, look, a very important little thingy down there. Automatically adjust for daylight savings time. Yeah. That's handy okay. to have, too. Okay. Well, I think we're almost done here. We've got here. about a minute here. So, okay. system tray, one more last little icon down there, okay. the speaker icon. Lee. The speaker. Uh, and you have to turn that on in the uh, control panel sometimes. Right. If you double-click on the little speaker, it gives you your volume controls for your mm -hmm. sound setting. And a lot of times we hear from people who say, oh, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm watching this, but I can't hear it. I want to show you something real quick here. If I single-click on it, I get a simplified ah, volume control. I see. If I double-click on it, I get the complex system. Very good. Boy, we talked about single click, right click, left click, double click. Yeah. We talked about a lot of new terms and things today, but mostly we want to talk about the human versus the computer. Yep. And thinking about what's being presented to you and how it lets you get things done. So okay. thanks for watching. We're going to do one more quick episode yeah, well, because you said got you had a, a letter. I've got a letter. Okay, this is great. We'll be right back. Stay with us.